Thank you, Mr. Woodard. And thank you, Katy Perry. Hello, everyone. Thank you, family, friends, distinguished guests, and fellow graduates for coming here tonight and celebrating our class. It is my honor to speak in front of all of you. A few weeks ago, I was hunched over my laptop and I hit a roadblock in writing my speech. Frankly, I didn't even know where to start. Naturally, I was frustrated. Then a friend suggested that I just copy my eighth grade graduation speech. Ingenious. That's when I searched the depths of my Google Drive all the way back to 2016. And sure enough, I found it. I winced at one cliche after the next, but eventually came upon a line that rang true for me even today. It's the little things that count the most. Cliche, I know, but eighth grade me had a point. I'll never forget sharing short-lived laughs with my classmates, running down the muddy hill on a rainy day without a care in the world, and making awkward yet endearing eye contact while navigating the busy hallways. I'll never forget the game of chicken I'd play every passing period where I'd seriously contemplate whether to move out of someone's way or stand my ground and torpedo through the crowd. They might sound silly or trivial, but I'm guessing you might have a memory or two, however silly or trivial, that you'll cherish forever. And I am certain that I will hold on to the memories I've made at DP for the rest of my life. Now, I know I've done my fair share of complaining about class, homework, lack of sleep, the list goes on, and I bet all of you have at one point as well. But at the end of the day, I know we were able to push through and grow because of the amazing support system we have here at Dos Pueblos. When I think of DP, I think of Mr. Woodard standing on the Greek bleachers, feet shoulder width apart, hands on hips, peering over the school of fish we call nutrition. I will miss those bean burritos. When I think of DP, I think of Scotty G violently stomping his flip-flops against the aluminum bleachers and yelling louder than the entire student section. When I think of DP, I think of Mr. Holdren's blunt and honest humor, which makes me question if he is being serious or sarcastic. It's truly a skill to be able to differentiate the two. So thank you to every adult on campus you have shaped our lives and left lasting memories. I'd also like to take a moment to thank all the parents, guardians, and role models we have in our lives. So graduates, please remind your loved ones how thankful you are for them. I'd like to thank my parents. My dad has been raising me by himself while my mom has been supporting my family in Korea for the past six years. I know I don't say it enough, but I know how hard it's been raising me in the States and the sacrifices they have made for me and my sister Jenny. There were a lot of obstacles, but I think we did a good job. I remember the moment my family read my college acceptance letter. Dad and I were jumping up and down, running around the living room, hugging and crying. Mom and Jenny were screaming with joy over the phone. I knew when I saw my dad cry, it was a big deal. And I'm sorry I just outed you in front of the whole student body, Dad, but I was just so happy that you were happy, as if all our hard work paid off. We have all dealt with setbacks of varying degrees. They're all valid and impactful to who we have become. I may not know the specifics of what each and every one of you has gone through, but I know some. To my fellow seniors who are children of immigrants, who had to write your parents' emails and take on responsibilities that most kids are unaware of, 
Despite systematic struggles, our AVID and Academy seniors are breaking the glass ceiling, beating the odds, and making monumental strides for themselves and their families. Our generation is powerful and empathetic. There is a lot of hate, violence, and institutional injustice at all levels within our country. It's uncomfortable to talk about, and as a society, we have chose to avoid it for far too long. These are the conversations we must choose to have. We are the future, and we can do better. It is our responsibility to make sure our people feel safe, proud, and loved. Each day from the past four years could have been amazing or painful or somewhere in between, but I think we can all agree that we as a class are extremely resilient with the lessons we've learned and the unique experiences we've had, the future is bright for us. I will carry pieces of all of you wherever I go because we grew up together. And I sincerely hope that you will also carry the memories, moments, and laughter we have shared wherever you go. Thank you. And congratulations, class of 2020. We did it! <laughs>